Hi, welcome to the Arco Linux installation video. I've set everything up. I have here the Arco Linux on my site and the latest version, Arco Linux 6.8.5. I've built it myself. That's project uh, ver uh, phase 4 on arcolinuxd.com. And I've uh, loaded it up. The only thing I have to do is to start. Now, if you want to actually put it on your system, then you need to burn a USB. That's all explained in articlelinux.info. If you want to maximize this, we press Ctrl F for full screen. And we have some choices here. We go, of course, with the first line. And we boot from the DVD slash ISO. And let everything kick in. Because this is a graphical install, we're skipping all the black screens and going all the way graphical until we boot again and we're boot up in XFCE. So this is our Calamares. Welcome to the Arco Linux installer. And then you choose your language. The language you choose here is one of these and it will change the communication here with uh, from, from Calamares. Okay, Keeping it at, to American English and then you choose where you're from. Are you from Europe? Most of the time it's correct and it depends if you have internet or not. So if you have internet, then he'll know where you're from and everything is set correctly. Otherwise you'll have to do it manually. The system language can be changed again here. So from previous screen, but, but, but you can change it here again, cancel. And the numbers and the dates locally can be changed here as well. So if you need to change anything, it's again a long list of possibilities. Then we go for next <coughs> and we choose our keyboard. So I'm working now in a QWERTY keyboard, which is not a good idea since I'm actually from Belgium. So and I want my Azerty keyboard. We have these things here. Okay, then we go for next. And the choice here is for me always to not partition manually, to not dual boot, triple boot or whatever. I'm going to erase the disk, let Calamaris take care of it. And it's going to do this here, 15.4 gigabyte EXT4, and it's going to give a swap. That's okay for me, I'm on VirtualBox anyway, but the SSDs I have are 250 gigabytes. So it's plenty of space. Even the biggest one, which is Plasma, takes 10 gigabytes. So that's nothing. Then we go for the next. And what's your name? Okay, still Eric. And what's the name of this computer? I always type in the thing I'm installing, but you can choose any name, as long as you follow the rules. Invalid characters, only letters, numbers, and dashes are allowed. Okay, clear. Then we choose a password. And we log on automatically without asking a password. I do that because I'm home, home alone, like they say. Uh, so nobody can touch my computer. If you're on a laptop and you go abroad and go to hotels and, and whatever, airports, then maybe you should uh, keep a password there. But otherwise, you're safe, then you do this. Don't want to have another password for my root account or administrator account, so I'm going to keep the same password. Next. And all is set. You can check it again. And then we install everything. In the meantime, while this is installing, I can give you an overview of, well, Arco Linux. And the overview you should keep in mind is, well, the websites. So go and check out the websites. All the information, a lot of energy has gone into writing all this, making this beautiful, telling guys, okay, this is Arco Linux D, and this is Arco Linux, and there is also an Arco Linux B. It's a lot of information on the websites and there's an easy way to go and to switch from website to website we have a forum for all the technical questions arclinux.com by the way all and above we have the facebook and the twitter and the google plus and all that we also have a nice Flickr account which you can check out all the images all the possibilities you can have with uh, 10 desktop environments today and you can visit those here you can see them what we're doing this is the Arco Linux ISO. This is the one we're installing. All the information is here. We can start here. We follow a procedure because it's a learning 
a learning guide is available you, you follow tutorials and if you're at the end you go find what you need what you actually want what you want to figure out and there you go all this is here for you to help all the fixes are here and if you want help well check out this uh, how can you help us we need some images we need some videos or we need some technical information and uh, this is how you can provide us more information some facts we're gonna put more and more facts in here in the future questions that people keep asking those are frequent asked questions so we'll put them in there and then we have this articlelinuxd.com let's see if it's already finished not yet articlelinuxd.com contains well again a start here so you follow along and if you're not um, well if you want to see what we built what how it looks what possibilities we have it's all here we also have an arch linux gallery why because we want you to learn right phase one is arc linux phase two is arc linux d so a smaller iso and on which you build then all these desktops you learn step by step to work with arch linux slash arc linux and at some point in time you say i want to build my own arc linux and that's this the b stands for build your own arc linux you change any application you want you want steam on the iso put it on run a script and you have an iso with steam on it and then you can install it in your systems and phase five is the arch linux installation so the arch way if you hear people talking about the archway installation well that's this uh, we give you a step-by-step -step, face by face installation and you end up with awesome you end up in cinnamon or an i3 and so on so that's a cool trick to do we're at the end of our installer so we restart now by the way if anybody uh, says hey there's another wallpaper that's true that's this one so variety is providing wallpapers so um, if you don't like it well delete it it's uh, easy to delete and easy to set as well in preferences you go and say don't want variety when the computer starts and then it's done already you restart and it won't be there so done and let's reboot So, not the first line of course, because that's still the live DVD. We want to have the second line. And we want to boot our grub. And our Linux will boot in XFC first, but there is an open box and there is an i3. And if you ever want to satisfy your curiosity, you can say, oh, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look, right? So, what you need to probably click here is, is this one. It has all the settings you're probably going to need. So those are the configuration settings. And if you want to go for a logout and check out the other systems, that's possible too. Go to open box and say, let's see how that looks. Right mouse click, all the menus you're ever going to need. Again, next, new wallpaper. Right mouse click, exit open box, logout. And the third one is i3. It's a win the tiling window manager, which is a little bit peculiar in the sense that there is actually nothing really. Right mouse click doesn't give us a menu. Clicking here, anywhere here, won't give us a menu. So it's all keyboard driven. That's why the conkey is here to help you in those first hours because a conkey in the tiling window manager is a, is a no go. We don't do that. But it's here to say super enter or windows enter okay so each time i press this it's going to tile it's going to divide the screen and this is how you delete everything and that's here super shift and q and super x super x and then everything comes red here we log out again we're back at the login screen we say xfce let's start with that and let's figure this out and then gradually uh, move from one desktop to the other all your settings will change the same uh, videos you have uh, music you have will be 
if you can use them in all three desktops so all the settings configuration all your files you can use them on any of the three desktops and try to figure out how everything works all right enjoy Arch Linux